for all of us, we are finding our way um, in a challenging world. In order to listen to the quiet tell of imagination, which I discuss in the poem Wayfinding, we have to be quiet enough and listen, and listen in that space between the natural world and our interior landscape and listen to our own thoughts and ideas as a source of solace and a source of strength and joy. And so the overarching theme of this exhibition and of wayfinding is nothing more than one man's journey of finding one's way through a challenging, noisy, uncertain world. Slowly branches of my ribs open, my fluttered heart lifts in a glance, tears well and hope renewed, wayfinding contours of interiority shading nature and self-hidden, yearning the transcendent quiet whispers of imagination's tell. Often in life we have a catalyst to, to cause change. In my case, it was a heart attack while cycling. It was a, a scary event and somebody saved my life, thankfully. It forced me to reevaluate my priorities in life and and that's when I started painting full time. I mean, prior to that, I hadn't painted since I was in the National College of Art in Dublin, which is 45 years ago. In my experience, through my professional world, my professional life, I was always striving for something in the future. And that's part of, you know, business and the, and the corporate world in many respects. I realized post a heart attack that all we have is the past and of course the present. Past is always present. Wonder between there and here. Let your mind separate from the body of self-doubt. The body of work that makes up wayfinding is really understanding that past is always with us and all we have is the present. And to appreciate and enjoy the natural world and how we walk through the natural world and how we embrace the world. And by and large, it's all great. There are a lot of bad things going on in the world. We have to focus on the positive and focus on the good so that we enrich ourselves with those things that are available to us, that can be driven by our imagination if we sit in the quiet threshold and listen. Awake in the vulnerable arms of possibility, now inhabit creativity underwritten by the gift of new light. It's amazing to me that um, this synthesis of um, visual language and poetic language has come together in this way. I think the idea of sharing poetry along with the paintings, I think adds another dimension. And you'll see that in some of the paintings there's a suggestion of script, but I view that as nothing more than mark making in the painting, the same as making any mark with paint. But it, I'm asking the viewer to dig deeper, delve further, explore more, and understand what the work is about. Once again, cotton four squared, ready to loft, to tack and glide, tether fraught imagination throw again to wind's own tongue of breezes soft. Hold tight the line glorious gusts of machinations, flailing color zigzag white empty skies aloft. This is the first time that this body of work would have been seen outside my studio, so that's exciting. I can't wait to see these large paintings outside of this room. There'll be about 30 uh, paintings in the exhibition with a selected number of accompanying poems that relate to the series of work that makes up the entire collection called Wayfinding. <laughs>